Digital overload isn't just distracting you. It's literally miswiring your brain. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let's talk about where neuroscience meets sacred science. I'm here to guide you from hijacked in an overstimulated world to living at peak levels, what I call super normal. I've seen on 50,000 plus brain maps how digital overload is scrambling your brain rhythms, how it's stealing your focus and clarity and keeping you attached and addicted to the very devices that are doing that in the first place. Right now, the average person touches their phone 2,617 times a day. The functions that feel advanced to you, notifications, reels, messages, autoplay, not only are those features stealing your minutes, they are literally crumbling the architecture of your brain and your mental clarity. You know how? It happens like this. Your nervous system gets stuck in hyperspeed. So it's used to switching tasks quickly and frequently. But inadvertently, your nervous system also loses the ability to focus. You end up restless, irritable, scattered. You sit down to do something meaningful and suddenly 30 minutes have gone by and you've done absolutely nothing. It's like eating spoonfuls of sugar all day long. It leaves you jittery, but never feeling sustained. Every notification is a dopamine drip, a little spike. That hit feels rewarding in the moment, but it doesn't actually satisfy. Over time, your dopamine system adapts. You need more and more dopamine just to feel. I've seen this in tens of thousands of brain maps. Instead of the brain map of green, coherence, calm, focus, the brain maps are lit up instead in jagged red, yellow, and orange, like a brain on fire. It's the signature of overstimulation and fatigue. That's what digital overstimulation looks like. It's a hijacked brain where instead of calm, there's chaos. When the system burns out, the CEO of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, it goes offline. And your limbic system, that feeling system that wants nothing but pleasure, it takes over. You're no longer directing your own attention. Your phone is. It's like giving the steering wheel to a toddler in traffic, chaos ensues. St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the greatest thinkers of all time, said it like this, to live well is to order one's life rightly. To me, that's super normal living. Purpose and passion drive execution, not passive consumption. Digital overload scrambles that order. Instead of harmony, you get noise. Instead of right use or healthy use, you get misuse. Sacred order comes from when we use neuroscience to re-establish those healthy rhythms. Focus, rest, reflection. Without that, life feels static. I want you to know this, digital, use and especially overload is not neutral. It is shaping the neural pathways in your brain. It is miswiring your nervous system every single time that you scroll. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to reset those rhythms, how to use sacred science to step back into ambition, focus, purpose, passion, clarity, and to go for it. So follow me through to the next video and I'll see you there.